So we have this expression here, and it involves some powers and exponents. And uh, the question is, can you factor this? Now, um, this, let me just tell you right up front that this thing can be factored, all right? And uh, it's not so obvious when you look at something like this how, you know, how, to, how to factor this, or even if, if it is factable. So you need to be uh, good at factoring other more basic type of things. And we're going to quickly just review some of the basic factoring skills that you need to handle a problem like this. But um, this thing is factable, and you will encounter problems like this uh, in algebra. So uh, definitely need to know how to be able to handle something like this. In algebra, sometimes it's a little deceiving because we look at problems and are like, nope, that can't be done. Uh, it's impossible. There's no way we can do that. Well, mm, you need to know, um, you know, you got to expand your toolkit, if you will. And the only way to have a lot of tools in algebra is to practice a lot of, you know, learn a lot of skills and do a lot of problems. That's really what it comes down to. So we're going to tackle this problem here in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, well, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so here is our problem, and this thing is factorable. So let's talk about some of the uh, things that you're going to need to know uh, to factor this problem. Okay, so I'll give you a hint. You need to know how to uh, factor out the greatest common factor. So let's just look at something like this. 2x uh, squared plus x. Okay, can you factor out the greatest common factor? Hopefully you, um, all of you out there are like, oh, it's x. That would be 2x plus 1. So x here is our greatest common factor. So anytime we're dealing with factoring, always, always, always look uh, for the greatest common factor. Okay, so that's uh, one hint. Okay, you'll need to be doing that. And then you need to know something about powers uh, in terms of the parts of powers and properties of powers. So powers involve uh, a base and an exponent. Okay, so for example, let's say I have um, uh, 3 squared. Okay, if I'm multiplying 3 squared times uh, 3 let me erase that, 3 cubed. Now, you can, of course, go into your calculator. 3 squared is 9. Uh, 3 cubed is 27. That's not what I'm talking about. Here, if the bases are the same, what do we do with the exponents here? Okay. Hopefully, most of you know, oh, okay, if this is multiplication of powers we're gonna, and the bases are the same, we're going to add the exponents. That's 2 plus 3. Uh, I could do another example. Let's say y to the 7th times uh, y squared is equal to y to the 7 plus 2 or y to the 9th. So you need to know about powers and all the properties of powers. This is only one um, of the properties. So if you're not familiar with uh, the properties of exponents and whatnot, I have many videos on this in my algebra playlist on my channel. Uh, then, of course, you need to uh, understand uh, the GCF, which I have many videos on a GCF as well. So if you understand this stuff right here, if you're like, okay, okay, I got this, I got this. And you're like, come on, let's get to the problem. I'm saying, okay, I'm just, you know, I told you I was going to give you a little bit of a hint, okay, uh, to kind of set the expectation up. Okay, so with that being said, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at this problem. All right. Now, now, we don't know if this can be factored, but we're maybe, you know, first glance, you should be kind of suspicious to say, you know, I think this can be factored, or at least let's definitely explore this. Now, notice this thing is, uh, uh, this is a uh, difference. This is uh, being, these two terms are being, uh, are separated by a subtraction operator. But here I have a four, here I have a two, and you're like, okay, can definitely factor out a GCF here. Okay, that's that's easy, all right. But I have a C, and I have another C here. So I have the same base, but the exponents are different. So this is this is the part that's probably going to confuse uh, students initially. But we need to be able to break this down because this is a problem that you know it's not a super common problem, but it's definitely something that you need to know how to work with in algebra. So let's take a look at each of these terms. Let's take a look at first at the uh, 4 times c to the n plus 1 power. And let's break this down into kind of its uh, uh, 
uh, prime factors, kind of its components fact, component factors here. So we'll look at this second. So uh, four obviously is two times two. Okay, so I could write that as two times two. And then here I have C to the N plus one. So we'll write that as C to the N plus one. But this is the part right here what I'm going to show you next that is the key to unlocking this problem. So this C to the N plus one, you can actually write this this way, okay? That's C to the N times C to the first, all right? So let's just look at this here. C to the N times C to the first. The bases are the same, okay? Remember, if the bases are the same, we add the exponents, so that's gonna be C to the N plus one. So this was this. This is really kind of think the secret here, and it's not you know so intuitive to kind of see that. But if you did see that, then that's excellent. All right. So c to the n plus one. I could break this down as c to the n times c to the one. Again, c to the n times c to the one is c to the n plus one. So now this thing is completely factored. Okay. Now let's just stop right here. Uh, don't look at this stuff yet. Okay. Now let's do the same thing to this other expression, uh, two times c to the n. So that's just two times c to the n or two times c to the n. We can kind of pull it out this way. Now we have some things to look for, okay? I'm like, all right, what's in common, all right? Can I uh, pull out a greatest common factor? What factors, that's what does this greatest common factor stand for? Well, we're looking for factors, okay, that are in common, okay? We want to pull out uh, as many as we can, that would be the greatest. So looking at this, okay, I'm looking at this expression and this expression, let's start circling factors that are in common. Well, they have this two, they have a two in common, or not, this has two twos, they only have one two in common, okay, so I'm gonna circle that, because that's gonna be part of my GCF. Now, if I look closely, I have a C to the N here, and I also have a C to the N here. So two times C to the N, is going to be my GCF. So let's write that right there. That's my greatest common factor. Now, again, if you're not uh, familiar with uh, uh, factoring the GCF, this is, you know, this is probably a little bit more, this is probably not the problem uh, that you want to start with. Okay, go back and take a look at other more basic problems, but this is the greatest common factor. Now, uh, this is going to be multiplied by whatever's left. So what's left in this first term? We have a two and C to the first, so that's just two times C, okay? That's two to the, times C to the first, or that's two times C, that's in our first term, minus, that goes right there, and then there's nothing here. So we have to put something, so that's gonna be one. And the way we can check our work that we actually factor this correctly is if we multiply two times C to the N times two times C, what do we get? We get four C to the N times C to the first, is going to be c to the uh, n plus 1, okay, minus 2cn times 1 is going to be 2cn. And if I'm not mistaken, okay, 4c to the n plus 1 and minus 2 times c to the n, that was our original problem, okay? So um, anyways, factoring, it's absolutely essential in algebra. Uh, and the only way you're going to get better at factoring is to factor uh, lots of problems, okay? So, you know, you just can't factor some basic problems to be like, oh, look, I can do factoring. No, again, that's the very uh, deceiving. There's a lot of students who uh, think that just because they can do some basic problems, they, then they think that, oh, I got that skill and I can handle any problem that comes our way. No, not the case, okay? You're going to have to Practice, 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 practice. That's what I try to do on my channel. But if in some way this video kind of helped you out, uh, please consider smashing that like button. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Uh, I've been on uh, YouTube for a long time. We have tons of videos organized from basic to advanced math on my uh, channel, okay, in various playlists. Uh, it's my goal, okay, to teach math in a clear and understandable way, okay? I want you to, nobody should be failing math these days. If you're doing your part, taking great math notes, okay, and going to your teacher, if you need uh, more help beyond that, there's all kinds of options for you, okay? Find a teacher that you like and understand. If you like my instruction, that's awesome. That's what I, you know, I make these videos. So I have tons of other uh, videos uh, on my channel. 
Uh, but my best math help will be within my uh, math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best uh, in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.